Now oh, that was brutal. It's the fifth round of the Yorkshire Cyclocross Series, arguably the most challenging series in the UK. Everyone's quite good in Yorkshire as well, aren't they? The season is well and truly underway and the scorching temperatures in the first round seem like a lifetime ago. Last time around at Barnsley, we had the novelty of a running start and a course that I just didn't get along with. The question is, will Pontefract be any better? And can I finally feel at home in the mud? Yeah, so it's a very muddy one today, just kind of done uh, the recon uh, practice uh, laps. Um, uh, very, very muddy, um, very slippy in paces. Uh, but yeah, I quite, I quite, in, I quite enjoy this course. It's got a bit of flow to it. There's um, after the kind of the pit section, there's a few kind of very muddy corners, but a bit of a flow, nice and open. Um, unlike like last kind of last time round, where it's a lot really technical, really kind of like slow corners this one's got a lot of fast corners a bit of punchy uphills and stuff um but it's like very very slippy um uh yeah there's like some real like steep banks up like only short like maybe like five six meters long but like just struggling to get grip over the top of them and you've got to make that decision I like what I quite like about kind of cyclocross is like and especially races like this where you kind of got to make a decision whether you run or stay on the bike and then obviously if you make it you stay on the bike you make a mistake then you lose probably more time but if you stay on the bike then you don't and you get through you probably make up some time so there's all of those decisions got to happen um, uh, throughout the race um, and uh, yeah I think the conditions underfoot are just gonna get uh, worse and worse and worse uh, today um, especially because yeah we, we've still got the another race to go before ours um, and it's just gonna turn things up even more yeah but yeah I think this one's I think this I think this might be a good course for me um, and um, yeah I feel like in certain places got new tires today so um, running uh, the handmade version of the uh, the Lemus um, and yeah they seem to have a lot of grip or I feel like I don't know whether it's a placebo effect of I feel like I've got more grip so therefore I'm just pushing a little bit harder and I have more grip so who knows um but yeah like uh well yeah you get a bike cleaned up and uh yeah there's about an hour or so until there uh, to my race soggy and muddy that's about all I've got to report apart from a lot of running <laughs> how do you think you're gonna do I don't know I've no idea like every single every single one is um just a guess I have nothing to go on. I'll probably finish around 20th like I've done for the last four. Five five race. Race. <laughs> 21st or 19th is the barrier between good or bad race. What do you think of the course? Easy. Not that. Easy. I love summer cross. <laughs> Comedy corner is quite good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that, yeah. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm yet to go. Well, I had a, I, I slid down it on my top tube. <laughs> just, I did that in front of just slow mo <laughs> slid down the hill, riding my top tube down to the bottom. What I didn't enjoy was the really talented 16 year olds. I don't like 15 year olds that commentating on that. Uh, <laughs> judging your entire yeah, yeah. yeah. On they've been riding cross humans. since they were four. It's going to be a good day out. Good day out. Jolly yeah. good fun. <laughs> that was brutal so so muddy like but yeah like on the line after start like from the start like i literally just went wheel spin straight away uh like, yeah, struggled to get going and then i was pretty much like 50th place by like the first quarter um but then yeah managed to work my way through a little bit um and then i was on the back of the group of uh with like rob and um dan was in that group as well um on that first lap like trying to stick with them um, and then yeah going on the back on the hill towards the end of the lap was like super super like oh yeah just like it, it was like every single lap like you try trying different lines and stuff and it was just a kind of lottery of whether you're going to kind of dig in or not and like wheel spin and things um, and yeah on that bit I was kind of following a wheel and I looked up and then that group had kind of gone and I was trying to get back to them but yeah there's no no dice but uh yeah, I had a few bit of battles and stuff. I thought I did, yeah, pretty well. Like, I was, yeah, quite happy with uh, how things went. Um, but yeah, it was super, super muddy. Um, and that was a tough, tough climb in the mud. Um, and in the end, I ended up running it most of the time. And then, yeah, well, running a bit, waiting until it was a bit firmer underfoot, jumping back on, jumping off. It was, yeah, a bit of a mix and stuff. Um, very different to all the other courses I've done so far. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. But it was so, so, so hard. Um, yeah so uh yeah now to kind of get cleaned up and stuff i'm literally covered in mud from like head to toe uh but luckily i've got uh pressure wash and stuff so i can get, get a bike cleaned and thing um and then uh yeah next week uh, we're over in wakefield so not too far away from here um having a clue never done that course as well so, uh, before so um yeah hopefully be a little bit less uh, mud and uh hopefully i can get a bit of traction and stuff but um 
yeah that was tough all right see you in the next one